Space stations are the ultimate end goal for organizations. These can be used as a base of operation for system-wide org activities. They require vast quantities of resources and materials and a large time investment. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get started. To start your space station construction, you first need to construct a supply bay. Supply bays can only be constructed by the Pioneer. Once the supply bay has been built by the Pioneer, haulers will need to bring vast amounts of material and resources to the supply bay. Here, tools like the Argo Atlas and the MPU V1T will shine. The base designer room will need to be operated to construct the base core. Automated construction drones will be responsible for obtaining the necessary materials from the supply bay to construct the station core. The supply bay will consume these resources over time and will need to be replenished by haulers. So a constant flow of cargo from haulers will be necessary. The required resources will be immense. Once the station is built, the supply bay then integrates into the station itself. At this point, you now have a station module core. At the top of the station module core, you'll find the command deck. This is the place where you can perform further construction. You can monitor the station status such as power and cooling. These resources will be critical to keep your station up and running. You can set permissions for org members and visitors to grant access to certain areas within the station. You will also find radar stations to monitor traffic around the station as well as logs to track who has visited the station and their activities. The station has multiple decks. For easy access to the rest of the station, you'll need to access the central transit system at the back of the command deck. Station owners can customize each deck via the decoration mode. 
the lower decks are where you'll find the engineering area for the station. Here is where the station engineers will work to maintain the station. Hangar decks are also available and connected. The station module core comes with one large hangar with two docking collars. In addition to this, two empty slots that can fit two medium hangers if needed. Station hangers will sport freight elevators, empty modules for ground vehicle parking and exit points to, and allow vehicles to traverse into the rest of the station. This hangar will also have an observation deck where you can have master control of the freight elevators and vehicle elevators. The space station will have an interior network in which you'll find various bulkhead connectors of various tiers 1 through 3 in which dictates the size of a room you can build. Resources are required to build these rooms, which can be renamed to be reflected in the station's minimap. You can build empty rooms for storage or build specialist rooms. These include mess halls, infirmary, habitation, generator rooms, etc. You can even build shops. The exterior of the station has minor attach points, which are hard points for various types of weapons and utilities. These include gas harvesters, shields, or turrets. Station module cores have two major hardpoint connectors. Major hardpoint connectors are used to attach wing additions to your station. These include cargo wings to drastically expand the cargo capacity of your station. There's also a refinery wing for refinement operations. There is also a hangar wing. These major hardpoints are connected by internally traversable struts. Players will be able to earn tints for stations as well as the ability to apply decals. Stations have two unique expansion slots. The top side is for the crow's nest.
underside will be for the flight deck. This will be home for your station's air defense wing, allowing for ships to rearm and refuel. The flight deck also sports two major hardpoints. If you choose to build your station in a lawless system, you take on the risk of being attacked by other orgs. Stations are too strong to destroy, so attacking orgs will be keen to breach and steal cargo and loot. Due to this, station owners will need to also set up interior defenses. These include blast doors, anti-vehicle and anti-personnel turrets. Stations have the ability to build dry docks, allowing them to build large vessels up to the size of the Bengal carrier. Before I let you go, I'd like to let you know that my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. I'll see you on the next video.